I growled plug holes when I heard my friend had died. It was more of a sob. I growled at the election, like a stomach. It was more of a heave, a lurch, a fit, a rant. I growled in February 2020 when I heard that weirdos and misfits, did you hear about this? Weirdos and misfits, artists and wild cards have been reappropriated and rebranded to spout ideologies of fascism, eugenics and racism. On the government website, in the small ads pages, 3,000 word essays. Bobble-hatted, nerdy psychopath seeks an unusual set of people with different skills and different backgrounds. And aren't all those Labour female shadow ministers dim? said Andrew Sussingsgate. Successful wild card. And all those people of colour less clever, and why shouldn't the water be doctored to stop us all breeding? And Dominic Cummings and Boris Johnson. Won't all those children of working class mothers knife you in the street? <laughs> Recently stirring tea in my kitchen, I ground like a heel dug into muck at our Prime Minister. I ground like a hound at his language. There in the 90s, in the noughties, and in these nasties, goggle-eyed at Google, I growled Medusas at his weaponizing, his twisting, sneering, sardonic snarling, direct quotes, hot totty at the Labour Party conference, dog whistling. Women turn to Labour because they are inherently fickle. Voting Tory will make your wife's breasts bigger. Seriously, his pinning up of Pirelli calendars. HR women are bandits in letterboxes. Just pass her on the bottom and send her on her way. I growled, I growled. What can you say? A growl, like when our cat Jones is cornered by our daughter, is different to a sob. Like Johnson is different to a Corbyn. It's different to food banks. A growl is different to a Trump. She squeaks. She growls. She thumps. A growl that's not thrown in towel is a red vibration felt deep in the body whilst reading the tweets of an American psycho. A growl is a dog day limp pulled through a bush. But there was always another flood. Another plane with another George W. Sun flying over another New Orleans. I growled motorways when I heard what Trump had said about Greta Thunberg, Hillary Clinton, Stormy Daniels, all Democratic Congresswomen, women, and parasites. Nowadays it's hard to find the right lipstick to match your polish. And my Polish friend who's lived here for 15 years is writing another letter to secure another visa. And I can't believe that photo I saw on Facebook of that speak English or go home poster. And the same day, the kindness of Fatosh and Oaken, Bushra's parents in inviting us to their home for Salma and Turkish tea. I can't believe the man who told me. Women are afforded too many rights nowadays. I can't believe the thing that happened to make him say it. I can't believe both men and women bleed, but only women have to pay for it. I can't believe we still have to purchase our tampax. And there's no money for mentioning them in this monologue. And there's no money. I can't believe there's no money when it's glittering on Bond Street. And it's not about the money. And it always was. Have you heard the birds? They started to sing again. In the mornings, when the dew clouds the horizon and everything is uncertain, pigeons warble on the concrete patio. Somewhere over somewhere, there are blue wings and red robins and canaries. The birds are filling up the sky. The distance is a roar. A growl is a warning. A statement of intent.